good afternoon or morning or evening whenever you happen to be watching this we're working on constructing what's called the hyperbolic plane it's basically something really floppy and is going to look like this and it's going to be really weird once it's done so what you're going to need is some paper that looks like this has a bunch of triangles on it some scissors and some scotch tape so here we go first thing is i need to free a hexagon from here so I'm just going to cut into the paper. Do, do, do. I cut really carefully here. I'm going to go ahead and take this whole section out because why not, right? Okay. And I'm going to keep cutting here. The excess piece of paper doesn't matter. So if you want to just tear it off, that's okay. You won't get in trouble. All righty. Now I'm going to free this hexagon right here on the very edge. Let me zoom in a little bit so that we can see what we're doing here. There we are. Going to cut into the hexagon. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it straight this way. And I'm going to cut off the little hat. Boink. There we go. So now I have a hexagon and a loose triangle. Cut into the hexagon along one of the triangle sides until you get to the very center. Don't cut all the way through, just to the center. So now you have like a little Pac-Man thing. Um, 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 um. Okay. Grab some tape. Getting a little piece of tape. I'm gonna take the loose triangle that we cut and where the cut is right here, I'm gonna lay it down kind of over that other triangle and I'm gonna tape it like that. Oh, okay, so it's a little crooked. That's okay. And now getting another little piece of tape. Let me zoom in because this is the weird part. Okay, so now I have hexagon with a triangle over a triangle. Now, grabbing the hexagon, pull it open like this and tape the side of this triangle to the side of this triangle like whoops like this oof like like that Rah. so now you have a hexagon that instead of having six triangles all around in a vertex like you're used to seeing in a normal hexagon like this, you have a heptagon of <laughs> equilateral triangles. And notice how it kind of bulges out. It's not flat like our plain old hexagon. It's something else. Kind of looks like a horse saddle or a Pringles potato chip. This is a piece of the hyperbolic plane. And this is what you will be constructing. So the whole trick is everywhere you see a corner where triangles are coming together, you need to make sure you have seven of them, like here. Do whatever you need to do to make sure there's seven. Right here I have two, so I need five more to get to seven. So I'm gonna take another hexagon and I'm gonna cut out a triangle like this. And so now I have five. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to tape it right here where I have two. Notice how it looks like it doesn't have room here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide one for now. I'm going to tape it down like this so it seems flat. And then I'm going to pull this open just like I did the first time. So that way I can tape those together there. And now I have my heptagon right in here. Do that over and over and over again. You want to just kind of go around the perimeter, continuing to add until you have seven triangles, a heptagon made of equilateral triangles, until you get a sheet of paper, maybe about this big or so, but all heptagons, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to do that. We're probably going to lose sound for a little bit as I speed up the video, 
Um, but that's okay. We'll be back in a little bit. a whole bunch of these triangles together making sure that everywhere where they come together you've got seven triangles seven equilateral triangles like this so here on this spot I'll need to add three more because I only have four you will want to try to get a piece and this is going to be the challenging part you want to try to get a piece maybe about this size okay now I've done about one sheet. I only have this much left of my original sheet and I'm about halfway there. So you'll probably need to use maybe two or three of these sheets of paper. It's going to get really floppy and really crazy on you. Go ahead and let it. When you're done, use this side to do your drawings. You're going to draw some triangles and uh, try to draw some squares. You draw definitely some quadrilaterals and get your protractor out and ready to start measuring the angles. Okay? And that's how you make a piece of the hyperbolic plane, this really floppy, crazy geometry that is something that you don't see every single day. But hey, if you do see it, because I've seen some of this at like the grocery store and the garden center. If you do see something that looks kind of like this, tweet it at me. I'll put the tweet in the description on this video so that you can tweet me what you've seen of the hyperbolic plane after you've made some.